Bruce 2 trial is a trial that compared uh, in patients who are on NOAX, who are compared uh, and we're going to have EP procedures like uh, a pack change or a new pacemaker or a new device implanted, really compared the strategy of stopping anticoagulants intermittently for a day or two versus continuing with the NOAX. And uh, the trial, I need to just give you a little background because clinically, what most of us have done uh, is if we're doing a pack change and they're on warfarin, we continue with warfarin. If we're putting in a new pacemaker or a new device and they're on warfarin, we continue with warfarin. In people on the NOAX, it's a little more controversial. And in general, we, most of us, have used what's called intermittent um, intermittent interruption of anticoagulation. So we stopped the NOAC the night before or maybe two nights before and this is the question they try to answer. And uh, very, I mean it's really a topical trial. The bottom line is the trial was stopped because of futility. Uh, very few events uh, and they powered the trial for many more events. So what do we take home from this? I think the message is that you can do either. You know, if you have a patient, uh, at least with warfarin we continue, but if you've got a patient on a NOAC or a DOAC, and they're going to have a procedure where there is a concern about bleeding for whatever reason, uh, it's okay to stop it for a day or two. I think that's fine. On the other hand, you may have a patient who's going to have a procedure, like a pacemaker, and they had a stroke, uh, they have a high chance score, and they had a stroke a week before, then you don't stop it. What do I think will happen? I think we will probably end up continuing with the NOAX like we do with warfarin. Uh, this trial doesn't really answer it because the event rate was so low, but that's probably what we'll do. But I think the take-home message is you can do either.